this is the practice video for May Song with violin. So we're going to go through each part separately, like the words that we sing for the song, like swing the monkey and leave one down, just like we've done in class. So the first thing I want to start with, and you should probably do your swing the monkey monkey song first, just to get warmed up and make sure your fingers are ready to go and your bow is ready to go. So I'm going to do the A, 2, E, 3, very slowly. And we want to make sure our monkey swing moves. A, two, e, three. And you want to make sure two goes down on A, three goes down on E. A, two, e, three. Okay, and you can practice monkey swing. Another good warm up is jumpy monkey, where you go. If you remember that exercise, okay? So there's swing the monkey. We also have another one in that first line that's three, E, two, A. Now technically we don't have to move our monkey swing for this one because both of our fingers that are being used for that one are on A. So if you keep your fingers over the A string, all you have to worry about is your chicken wing moving so you hit the E for that one note. So three, E, two, A. trouble with that one you could practice having your fingers over the A string and then just play on open strings A, e, A, A, three, e, two, A. okay so drill those a few times and then the other part we have is um, leave one down okay so this is on the E string you want to put first finger down on E Try to make sure your first finger looks like a square. You want the top of your finger to be flat. You don't want to push your wrist out or have your wrist up. Just have it nice and flat and relaxed, okay? So your goal is to leave the first finger down while you play the three. One. Drop three. So don't lift one. Three. One. And here's kind of a hint. Just because you have two fingers down at the same time doesn't mean you have to push twice as hard. Because you're putting the third finger down, that's shortening the string to this note. So you don't even have to push down that hard with one. It's just kind of staying there as an anchor. Okay? So. Okay? So let's try to put together that whole first line. Starts on A. We have our swing the monkey. Okay? A. Get three over on A. Three, E, two, A, one, A. And if you have the worksheet in front of you, the sheet music, there's a link in this video to it. You can practice measure by measure. And you can even keep a, a little uh, track list of how many times you're practicing, a tally of how many times you're practicing each little part. Okay? So the second line is where we have our long bows make this part forte, short bows make this part echo, okay? So our notes are E, E, three, three, two, E, two, one. And we do that twice, okay? So let's talk about the fingers first. Again, all your fingers go down on A string in this whole entire line, so you don't have to worry about monkey swing, okay? Just make sure your fingers are over the A string, okay? So we have E, E, drop three, 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 two. You don't have to swing here, just your chicken wing. E, two, one. E, e, three, three, two. E, two, one. If you noticed, my left fingers were really, really quiet just then, so they could stay close to the A string. Okay? So let's talk about the bow now. And you can practice just on open string. If you go to Duckbill, you could try the long bows. That's what it feels like with the open strings. I'm going to play it one more time. Oh, sorry. Okay. Then you can try to add the fingers using the same amount of bow. Just because you're using your fingers now, don't cheat the bow. Okay. 
So that's practicing with uh, long bows. And the second time we play it, we play it using small bows to create the echo. So you can try again, just open strings, go to duckbill. And just because you're using small bows doesn't mean you get to not move your chicken wing. You still have to move your chicken wing quick for that E. Let's try it one more time. Open strings. Try adding fingers. Okay, and remember in class that uh, softer does not mean slower. So you want to try to keep the same tempo. You can tap your foot while you're doing this with the open strings or with the fingers. Okay, so this here is all of line two, starting with long bows first. Okay, and then if you feel comfortable with the first line and the second line, all you have to do when you play the whole song is play that first line again after you're done with the second. So here's the whole song. Good luck. Oh, and if you're really brave, what you could try doing is going to the Kinder playlist on the SoundCloud, and you can find Twinkle Twinkle Little Star on there. What you can do is play the Twinkle and play the May song along with it. Might be a little tricky to start it at the same time, but since May song is the duet part for Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, it's something you could try. We're going to try it in class here in another week or two. So good luck, guys. Thanks.